What's up guys, it's Elysian Castaic again, and we are back in a Minecraft world, creative world. We're actually on a server this time. Still a creative world though, and I made another sign for you guys, showing you what new series we're going to be playing. That's right, we're playing Pokemon now. We're going to be doing this every Tuesday. We're going to be playing the version Fire Red. It's a remake of one of the original games, version Red, I do believe. Uh... Red, blue, green, and yellow came out. Yellow being the special version that included a Pikachu that followed you around. But we're just going to be playing Fire Red. Now, the reason that I chose Fire Red is because I like the graphics a little better. It runs a little bit better for me. And it took, uh, it looks nice. I like it. So we're going with that. There's also more Pokemon that you can capture in that. They included the second season's Pokemon. So... We're going to give that a go. It's going to take a long time to get through the game. There's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts in it. But hopefully it will be still be entertaining and hopefully informative for some of you guys. It's definitely going to be a learning process for me because I'm not the greatest at Pokemon. But we'll see how it goes. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Pokemon Fire Red version. That's a Charizard right there. I plan on getting that guy as soon as I can. Don't really care about a circuit board. These are just simple control things. Usually you would read these in the in the manual that comes with the game. I already know most of this, so I'm just going to skip it. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Sounds good to me. And that's Professor Oak. Hello there, glad to meet you. Kind of slow, let's speed that up. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. That's a Nidoran female, I think. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. All right, so here we go. We got to create our little guy now. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, I'm a guy, so there we go. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Well, that looks a little too small to put my full name, but we're going to go ahead and do it this way. Where is it? There it is. S I A. And there we go. That looks good. What do you guys think? Doesn't get my second part of my name in, but that's all right. Kind of like the way he looks, like an updated version of Ash with brown hair. Yes, my name's Legion. It's Gary. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were babies. Can babies even be rivals? What was his name now? Uh, I prefer Gary because I love the anime version, so we're going to go ahead and go with Gary. I believe he's in the original red version, he was called Gray, so we'll keep calling him Gary. I remember now, his name is Gary. Uh, you'd think you'd remember your own grandson's name. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Now, the reason we're playing Fire Red is because for one, it's very colorful. I love the colors in this. It actually looks like a full-on game. And the original red version was pretty much all base colors. It was came out, for, I believe, for the original Game Boy. It may have come out for color. But in that, everything, it was basically just like the color was overlaid. In this, it actually, everything is colored. I love it. It's pretty. It's beautiful. 
Uh, okay, so this is our bedroom. We're starting in our bedroom. There's our bed, and look, that's a that is a very old console. That's a Nintendo Entertainment System. We usually play with the NES. Guess what? We're playing Zelda on that right now. <laughs> okay, it's time to go. Uh, we don't get to play very much, guys. All right, over here is PC. Now, the cool thing about this game is right from the start. What would you like to do? If you go into your item storage, withdraw an item. Look at that. You got a potion right off the bat. It restores the HP of one Pokemon by 20 points. That's not bad. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And then we cancel out. Cancel out. What would you like to do? You don't have any mail yet. It's very early in the game. We don't have any mail yet. I'm going to turn that off. And now we go down the stairs. This is just it's a posted notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R buttons. This is a Game Boy Advance game, by the way, guys. Let's see what's on TV. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking down a railroad tracks. I better go, too. Railroad tracks. That sounds like... Is it Outsiders? I can't remember what movie that is. It's also based off a book, if I remember. This is your mother. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yes. Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Nice little house. You gotta wonder where her bedroom is, though. Does she just sleep in those chairs? It's a nice little home. This is Professor Oak's home. And he's not actually here, and we'll get that map later. And oddly enough, this is Professor Oak's little laboratory, but he's not there either. Now, if you want to continue the game, you actually have to follow this little path up over here and go through. The, try to go through the grass. That's when Professor Oak appears. There he is. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. And I will, we're forced to follow him. I have no control over the character right now. Takes us inside of his lab. And then he runs away. And we follow him again. There's Gary. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. He's got a very short attention span, I think. There are three Pokemon here. Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. And I love the Pokeballs in Fire Red as well. In the original Red version, it was just, it was like a dark top with a lighter bottom. It didn't even have the button in the middle. It was just a sphere that was cut in half. I didn't like it. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Well, he's impatient, isn't he? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Okay, now, the three different Pokemon, I believe this one's Bulbasaur, this one's Squirtle, and then there's Charmander. Yes, I got that right. Now, there's several different ways that you can go about this. The first... Gym trainer that you face uses rock type Pokemon. Now that's a little difficult because the best attack against that is water, or I believe a metal attack. So Squirtle is usually the best choice to go against that first Pokemon trainer, but then the second trainer uses water Pokemon. Now it might seem kind of silly for me to choose a fire Pokemon if later on I have to choose a, I have to fight a water Pokemon. But for the first guy, I'm actually going to go ahead and choose Charmander because at a certain level he gains a metal attack called Metal Slash, which is excellent against Rock-type Pokemon. And a little later we'll get an Electric-type Pokemon, which is great against Water. So we're going to go ahead and get Charmander. You're climbing the Fire Pokemon Charmander. Yes. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I got the Charmander. Now, I'm not going to name any of my uh, Pokemon... Just because I'm never very good with nicknames, Gary's taking the Squirtle. He always takes the one that's opposite to yours, the one that's supposedly better than yours. So we're going to go ahead. There's not. You can talk to the people, but there's nothing really else to do. Bulbasaur gets left behind. I wish I knew who took him. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Looks like we're getting to our first battle, guys. Let's hope we win. The Pokemon trainers look so much better in Fire Red as well. Rival Gary would like to battle. Rival Gary sent out Squirtle. See? Squirtle. Actually, it looks kind of cute, too. But I love me my Charmander. 
Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so we have a level 5 Charmander. We have 19 hit points. Gary's got a level 5 Squirtle. Both are male. So let's go ahead. We got Scratch and Growl. Let's use Scratch. It didn't do very much damage. Inflicting damage on a foe is the key to any battle. Duh. Foe Squirtle used Tail Whip. Uh-oh. That's going to lower my defense. Yep, which means that if he hits me, it's going to hit harder. Got him down almost half health. And he keeps lowering my defense. That means if he keeps on attacking me, it's going to hurt. Scratch. Okay, he's now down in the yellow. Ow. That did seven points of damage. Charmander, you scratch. Yay, we win! Critical hit! Awesome! Foe Squirtle fainted. Charmander gained 70 experience points. I believe that's enough to level up for the first time. Yep, there we go. Charmander grew to level 6. Awesome. Plus 1 stats, everything. Now, I don't know a lot about leveling up the Pokemon. I know there's special ways to do it. You can use certain items to increase certain stats faster than others, so on and so forth. I know in later versions of Pokemon, you actually get natures for the Pokemon, which increases or decreases certain stats by a specific amount, which makes them better for certain things. Uh, let's just keep going. We defeated Gary. And he always thinks that he picked the wrong Pokemon. But actually, he picked a really good Pokemon for the first gym battle. And we got 80... I think that's called Zen or Zenny or something like that. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers to, and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Legion Gramps, smell you later. Gary's a bit of a, a bit of a brat, so we're gonna go out and we're gonna try and get to the next town now. Now we don't have any Pokeballs. Look at our bag. We have one potion. We have nothing here, and we have no Pokeballs. So we can't capture anything yet. But we'll be able to capture things eventually. Let's go ahead and save it. There's a different game file that's already saved. That's fine. That's actually just this file. Oh, oh well. well. We'll save later. Saving's not too important right now. We're at the very beginning of the game. What do you have to say? Look, look. Copy what it said from one of those trainer tip signs. Press start to open the menu. That's very basic info. Okay, so long grass, you can get into a random Pokemon encounter. Nothing really much right now. I work at a Pokemart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll give you a sample. Here you go. We got a potion. Okay, so we got two potions now. And I think today we're just going to go... We're going to do the very first task, um, which is to get to Viridian City, and then we're going to end up going back to Pellet Town. Now look at this. We're fighting a Rattata. Ooh, it's level 4, too. That's not bad. Go, Charmander! And look at I got full health. I believe you get full health after that first battle, but any battle after that, your Pokemon stay at the same hit points. So let's go ahead and fight. Whoa, that was hit. That was a strong hit. That's a critical hit. And right it's a mist with a tackle. <laughs> I think you're going to die, dude. Oh, he's got one hit point left. That would be perfect if we had a Pokeball right now. We'd capture him. I'm going to go ahead and try and capture every single Pokemon that I come across, if I can. Because I want to try and get the full Pokedex. You get some benefits, I believe, if you get a full Pokedex. Hey, we leveled up again. Awesome. Charmander grew to level 7. We got two extra hit points, one attack, one defense, two special attack, one special defense, and two speed. I believe Charmander is a special attack and speed Pokemon. That'll make more sense after I do more research and figure out what all the different types are. 
Charmander learned Ember. We learned our first fire attack. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to keep going up this way. Hopefully we don't get into another battle. It doesn't look like it. And up here is Viridian City. Now, we could go in the Pokemon Center and heal up. Heal your Pokemon. Pokemon Center. But our Pokemon hasn't suffered any damage yet. So we're just going to go over here to the Pokemon. Go inside. And we got the... Pokemon guy. It came from Pallet Town. Yes, we did. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you take it to him? We got Oak's parcel. It's in the key items bucket. So now we're just going to run back to Pallet Town. I think this after we do this, we're going to call it for this episode. Uh, there might be another episode immediately after this, so keep your eyes out for that. I might be doing several videos today. Today is a Pokemon day, so... All of the videos will be Pokemon. And I found out, guys, that I might actually be able to play Minecraft for you guys, which is pretty cool. Now, I'll only be playing in version 1.7. Oh, and just so you know, you can jump over these things. So it's like a little bit of a shortcut back to Pallet Town. It goes a lot quicker, and you don't have to fight any other Pokemon. But yeah, I might be able to play Minecraft for you guys. I'll probably be doing that on Thursdays, but I'll only be playing 1.7.2. Two. That's all my computer can support right now. But it, the videos might be a little bit laggy, but it's better than nothing, and I really want to get into Minecraft for you guys. It's one of my favorite games. It's just, I love it. Absolutely love it. I'll probably be playing in a single player world unless I can find, unless I can talk to some people into letting me play on a server. I don't know. I doubt we'll be playing on a server first, probably doing single player world, just because it takes less uh, CPU. Uh, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. And Gary comes back. And Professor Oak has a task for us, those two little red things on the table there. Those are the Pokedex. Now in the anime it also serves as your, as the person's ID, but... I don't believe it actually works as an ID for us. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. It wants us to take, a, take a, them with us and do what we can to get it all. We just capture them to complete the data. Here are some tools for capturing wild Pokemon. We got five Pokeballs. Awesome. Put the Pokeballs in the Pokeball pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. Now there's some tricks for being able to capture Pokemon. There are certain Pokemon that get a special move, and I believe the move is also a TM, which is a, um, a technical material, I think it's called. But that move is called False Swipes. Now, the cruel thing about that is no matter what level your Pokemon is, it doesn't matter if you're like a level 60 fighting a level 20, which would be usually a one-hit KO, if you use False Swipes, the Pokemon that you attack will always have one HP at the end of it, so you can basically capture it all the time. Now, there's only a couple of Pokemon that get that move naturally, and that's usually, uh, if I remember right, Cubone gets it, and I know Scyther gets it. So we're going to try and find ourselves a Scyther. Now, it's going to take a while to get one, but we'll do what we can. And Gary's always overconfident. And there's a little bit about the town map. We're going to get the town map before we call it an episode. But after that, the next episode, we'll be doing some leveling up. We'll be capturing some Pokemon, getting ready for the first gym battle. We need to try and get our Charmander up to, I believe level 16 is when he gets the False Swipes move. And I'll probably even get him up to level 18, because then he evolves into Charmeleon. And we got the town map. Sweet. So, let's go outside and see if we can take a look at the town map real quick. It's in the bag. And it's right here. So here we are in Pallet Down. We've been on Route 1, that's that short little road, route, and then Viridia City, and then we're going to go up here, Route 2, and Viridian Forest. 
I haven't been inside a Diglett's cave. I don't think you can get there just yet. But in Viridian Forest, we can find ourselves a Pikachu. That's going to be very important for the second gym leader. Because she uses water Pokemon. And I believe that my Charmander and my Pikachu will end up staying in my party pretty much the entire time that we play this. But for right now, that's going to be an episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you liked it even more than that, please subscribe. This has been Elysian Castaic, and I'm out. Catch you guys in the next episode.